We're now going to examine for abdominal wall hernias. Uh, when we did the abdominal exam, we had the patient do a Valsalva maneuver and also lift his uh, chin up to see if we could see weakness in the anterior abdominal wall. By far the most common place for hernias, however, is at the lower abdomen uh, under the inguinal ligament, both through the inguinal canal and along the vessels, uh, the, the femoral artery, uh, vein, and nerve as they exit uh, the, the abdomen into the leg. So to do this exam, we do it in two positions. So I'll show you one examination with the patient line, and we'll go over the anatomy at that point. And then we'll have the patient stand and do a second examination with the patient standing. So first thing we're going to do is just uh, review the anatomy in this area. So the key structures are <clears throat> anterior superior iliac spine and then the symphysis pubis right here and the inguinal ligament runs between those two. Remember that the testis <clears throat> exits the abdomen uh, during development with two rings that uh, overlie each other. There's an internal ring and an external ring. The testis moves out through that and then down into the scrotum. And with growth, those two rings move apart. So the internal ring is about at this position, the external ring below the inguinal ring in this, in this area. So first of all, I want you to lift your chin up onto your chest. Okay. Now take a deep breath and hold it and bear down. Good. Relax. So no bulging is evident when, when he does this. Another way to look for hernias is to, lie, to lay your long finger along the inguinal ligament and then your fourth finger is going to lie uh, pretty much in the area of the external ring and your index finger will lie along uh, the superior edge of the inguinal ligament. We have a patient cough in this position <coughs> Good. And if there's weakness, you can feel it. You actually see my index finger move here. Try to cough again. <coughs> Good. And that just demonstrates that this is lying over the transversalis fascius in the lower abdominal wall, whereas the other two fingers are lying on and below the inguinal ligament and uh, don't get subjected to as much pressure. If there's a direct hernia, you're likely to feel that pushing up underneath the index finger. If there's an indirect hernia, you may feel it bulging underneath the fourth finger here at the inguinal rim. <clears throat> so you can do this very easily. You can also do it with the opposite hand in this position. Go ahead and cough again. <coughs> Good. So the idea, though, is to have a finger above the inguinal ligament, a finger below, and a finger on the inguinal ligament to try to detect any weakness, uh, either direct herniation above the inguinal ligament or inguinal direct herniation below the inguinal ligament. The other place that we'll see herniation is along the vessels. It's more common in women. So when you isolate and identify the uh, femoral vessels, remember that <clears throat> the nerve, the artery, and the vein run in that order and herniation along uh, through the opening where these vessels exit the abdomen is another uh, place where you can feel uh, abdominal hernias. So that's examination for abdominal hernias in the area of the inguinal ligament uh, in the uh, supine position.